Hey guys, good morning and welcome to day two of working from home. Hope you guys have your notebooks and your pencil and your hot chocolate or water next to you. We are just going to jump right into our lesson. All right, so taking it back to last year, what do you guys remember about finding the volume of a rectangular prism? So yesterday we did surface area. We found the area of the outside, the surface. So volume is bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, so we are going to find how much or the amount of space a rectangular prism takes up. So on the inside, we are going to be finding that amount. So go ahead and write your title. All right, so volume is the amount of space an object takes up. When we are measuring volume, we are not using um, square units. We're going to be using cubic units. For example, when we find when we found the surface area of a rectangular prism yesterday, we always said centimeter square, right? For example, the dimensions were five times nine, so that's how we got centimeter square. When you're solving for volume, we use centimeters cubed because we're going to be multiplying three dimensions, and that's how we have cubic for three. All right, so your formula for volume is length times width times height. And you see how there's three units? That's all you have to do. You just gotta multiply the three and there you have your volume. So for example, these are our dimensions. We have a height of five, four, and seven centimeters. So this is basically what you have to do. All you have to do is find the base area so this base area is 7 times 4 so we know down here this is 28 you just have to multiply 28 by its height which is 5 you got to do that 5 times and there you have your volume so putting that in your formula 7 times 4 times 5 equals 28 times 5 which equals 140 centimeters cubed and there you have it that's how you find your volume Okay, so you guys can go ahead and try this by yourself. Make sure you have it in your notebook and press pause and make sure you use your formula. Okay, so we have 12 centimeters times six times seven centimeters that equals 504 centimeters cubed. All right, number two. Okay. 5 times 3 times 11 centimeters. And you notice that I just went ahead and plugged in all my dimensions. It really doesn't matter which dimension you're multiplying first because it'll always equal the same thing. If I went 33 times 5, that is the same thing as 15 times 11. It still equals 135 centimeters cubed. Okay? So I hope you guys got that. So lastly, we're going to do a word problem. Miss Sizzas has a new fish tank with the following dimensions. The length is 40 centimeters, the width is 30, and the height is 25 centimeters. She wants to buy a filter as well to keep the water clean. Which filter should she buy? Hmm. So these are my three options. I have Happy Fish. Tanks with, it fills tanks with 1,000 to 5,000 centimeters cubed. Extra pure, which is 5,000 to 20,000 centimeters cubed, and super clean, which is 20,000 to 50,000 centimeters cubed. Hmm. So in order to figure out which one I'm going to buy, I got to find my volume first. So go ahead and do your length times width times height. Okay, so we have 120 times 25. <laughs> Sorry. So I know 25 times 12 is 300, so if I put a zero behind that, we have 30,000 centimeters cubed. So, which option is best for Mrs. S? Hmm. I know it's not A, because 5,000 is the most, 20,000 is the most for B, so obviously super clean is my best bet. All right, so there you go, guys. For your homework today, you only have four problems to do. Number one, you're going to figure out two possible answers with a box that has a, um, a volume of 32 centimeters cubed. So just give me two options of how big that box is going to look. All right, number two, 
find the volume of this box. Number three, Mr. Gerard wants to buy some juice. Three different brands are available. Which one should he buy? So you're going to figure out brand A, the volume of that for one, it's $4. Brand B, two of them is $2, and this is the dimensions. Brand C, you have three for $10, and these are the dimensions. So we're going to figure out which one is his best option. Lastly, Rachel offers Jimmy a deal. She will trade her poutine, of her box of poutine, for um, which is five by six by seven centimeters, and his is two by 10 by 10. Should he accept the deal? Hmm, explain why or why not. All right, guys, so you can just stay on this YouTube, um, YouTube page and pause, um, or you can just look at the attachment that I put on Edsby. All right, so great job, you guys. Again, don't forget, all homework's due Friday, but you can try to get it done today if you could. Once you're finished with that, um, number two, we have a volume game. So you can look on your math schedule um, on Tuesday. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so volume of cubes and rectangular prisms. Mm. Yeah, it should show up. Well, I guess my internet's a little slow. Oh, there it is. Three times two times two. And then go ahead and write your answer in there. All right, guys, great job today. Let me know if you need any help. And I am always on Edsby, so just go ahead and message me. Great job, everyone. Bye.